Welcome back. We are here on eTor looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for November 9th, uh, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a signal service on Patreon. There are a lot of traders that have already joined and you're welcome to join us there. You'll get the access to the full uh, technical analysis of the commodities market as well as part of that package. So we'll start out by looking at the uh, US dollar and at, in the US dollar index, I suppose. Say. As you can see, we have, uh, we have pulled back quite significantly last week, broke through the 50 moving average. And at this moment, we are testing resistance uh, levels here. We pulled back a little bit. So this has proven yet again to be uh, as a support, but support level. So we pulled back a little bit and, um, and this area here historically has been major support. If we break between, uh, below this area here, we'll go significantly lower. We'll go down to 91.71. And of course, that will have major effects, for example, on commodities, uh, precious metals, and stocks and indices, and so on and so on. So there's a negative correlation between the US dollar and, the, and commodities, for example. So if the US dollar decreases value, and then the commodities increases in most cases, not always. But there are there is signs that we are about to turn around, especially if you look at the four hour chart and the one hour chart. And there is a sign that we most likely will be heading back towards the 50 moving average. And if we break above the 50 moving break the 50 moving average, we'll go to these highs of 94.31. And of course, that will have an enormous effect on commodities and so on. They will start to fall. So if you look at oil, we can see that we ran into major uh, resistance here at the 50 moving average and pulled back towards the 200 moving average and then found support there. Whether or not we break the 20 moving average, uh, 200 moving average, that's that's a question. If you look at the technical indicators, there are basically signs that uh, we are going to go lower. So if this breaks, then of course we will test these lows here and here first, and that's around the 36, and then we'll head down towards the $33. In the long run, I'm pretty sure that we are going to head towards the $30 range due to the fact that there just isn't that much of Demand for um, commodities at this point, for uh, for example, oil, because the world economy just isn't as strong as it was prior to the coronavirus. So it will take time. It will take several weeks, several months for, for the world economy to get back on its feet. Thankfully, you need to get rid of the coronavirus. And that most likely will take, um, well, a year is the, for probably the... the, the the estimate that most um, scientists have for a vaccine. So expect oil prices to be lower. There's no reason for these massive rallies here. They are pure technical moves to get through the, um, to the major resistant area. And that is basically uh, selling opportunities. This is not a market that you should be buying in. This is a market that you should be selling because we are clearly in a downtrend. And it is not a similar downtrend like this one. This was just a complete collapse in the market, uh, mainly um, because there was so much supply and demand just completely vanished. And then this market completely collapsed as well. But we are gradually going to lower levels. We are making lower lows. And as long as that is going to be the case, then we are going to go lower in this market. So natural gas, which probably is one of the most exciting trades for this week. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because we have nearly reached major, um, major resistance. Um, when we, we, when we, uh, when we get to this point, we should have a pullback or we will receive a pullback here. Um, of course, there's no guarantee that we'll see a pullback here. Um, this is just the, how this market has behaved. For example, here, we didn't get close to, the, to this trend line. 
and we pull back. We didn't get close here, and we pull back. Here we did get close to this trend line and then pull back. So this is a right place to enter a trade. Probably a little bit risky, but but technical indicators for this market are turning around. For example, you see that the stochastic is turning around. Same goes for the for the for the for the CCI. No, sorry, the, the RSI is also uh, getting flat. So this market tends to move really fast to the upside. So if you're not early to enter this market, you will lose it. That's that's just how it works. It can be something similar to this, and that can happen within a split second. You see it here as well. Next day, you can gap up, and then you just explode to the upside. So if you're not early, you will not uh, catch this market. It's not like um, the, the forest market, market or other commodities market where it gradually goes to the upside. This just explodes to the upside. So it is a far riskier market to trade in than most other commodities. This is probably the most difficult market to trade uh, overall. So um, just bear in mind. So if this breaks, then we have the 50 moving average underneath. So this is, should be major support. Um, and rallies here should expect um, the high here of 3.3. Um, and if we break this resistance and this support area here and the 50 moving average, then we have these previous highs as well as support. So there are there is significant support here. And if this breaks, then of course we are going much lower. That means that we are probably going all the way down to the 200 moving average. But that's why you have stop losses and so on. So this is a very interesting what basically will happen here next week. Um because we are at major support at this at this time. So let's look at copper. Copper continues its uh, well moves to the upside uh, for whatever reason. Um, the 50 moving average is still significant support. We cannot doubt that every single time we get basically close to the 50 moving average, uh, we bounce. So we rallied quite significantly on on Friday, pulled back, and we basically broke these uh, previous highs. So. Uh, the next real resistant uh, resistant area are these highs. So um, people that stomach it, they can basically put in a short at this area here and have a stop loss on, uh, above. Uh, but this is not a market that I'm very interested in because I need this market to break the 50 moving average in order to, to be interested in this market. I, I think this is very overpriced at this point. Um, and why we are having these rallies is uh, probably pure speculation because usually when the world economy goes down, this is one of those commodities that are is significantly hit. Um, the same is for, for example, like oil. Oil and copper usually are uh, significantly hit when the world economy goes into basically recession mode. So rallies here are basically to be sold into. Um, and at this point, the 50 moving average is your bottom at this point. If that breaks, then we are going to look at these lows here and then the 200 moving average. So gold. Gold rallied. It did not fall to the 1800 level, but if we have... Um, uh, US dollar that will um, ap deep appreciate, which it may do uh, on Monday uh, session or on Tuesday session, then we may see gold fall back below the 50 moving average. So I said in previous videos that we had the 50 moving average being significant resistant, and then we had this entire area here, which we are testing now as significant resistant. So if we break this area, which is all the way up to the 2000 level, then we go to these very highs and beyond that. There is probably no doubt about that. But we also need to see a nearly collapse of the US dollar. 
in order to see that happen. So pay attention, but basically it's happening to the US dollar because if it starts appreciating again, which it, it, it looks like it's going to do, then this will basically fall back below the 50 moving average. So the very lows at this point are around here. That's 1858. And a break below this will open the door to 1800. So yes, oil is, no, not oil, but gold is in a very, very, it's very difficult to trade this at the moment. We technically need to break this area here in order to be sure that we are going to go significantly higher. And we need to break technically this area here in order to go significantly lower. But there's no reason to short this. This is something that you should buy as cheap as technically possible. That's why I was waiting for a pullback towards the 1800 level in order to buy it. So not all trades are successful. Um, this was um, at this point wrong, but I still believe that we are going to go to the 1800 level before we go and test these highs. Uh, technical indicators for for gold at this point they are very bullish, uh, but you are showing they are showing sign of of weakness. You can see that stochastic is rounding off, the CCI is also rounding off, and the uh, RSI is technically flat. It's almost overbought, but the MACD is quite bullish. So if you look at silver. We can, see, we can see this very similar trade is nearly the same thing. We had the 50 moving average acting as re resistant that broke. Now we are about to enter this area here, which will also be resistant. If we break this uh, this area here, then we go to the old up highs and even higher than that. The lows in this market at this point are the 50 moving average will act as support and then also the 22.5 dollar range will act as support. Uh, a break below that will open the door to the 200 moving average and the 20 dollar level. So um, very similar to, to, uh, to gold. Um, I don't think that this is going to last but we'll have to see if you have a turnaround in the US dollar index then this will fall. If we continue falling the US dollar, then this will go higher. If you look at the technical indicators, they are, well, they're not as bullish as for, for gold. MACD is quite bullish. Uh, Stochastic is a little bit bullish, but the CCI is turning around and the RSI is technically flat at this point. So pay attention what happens to the US dollar index. Break below the 50 moving average, opens the door to 22, and then to the 200 moving average. So if you look at Cocoa, we can see that we have rallied a little bit. We continue our rally to the upside um, in Kakoa. And at this point, we'll probably go and retest these lows, which is at the 2.3, or we go to the 200 moving average. In either way, I'm completely not interested in, in trading this because we are basically in the mid range. We are middle of nowhere, and I don't like trading middle of nowhere. I like to trade at these points and these points here in order to have probability on my side. Entering this market at this point is just pure gambling, and therefore um, I have no interest in it. It may well be that we are, you can see the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average, we are going to go something similar to this. And that means that we are rallying up towards the 200 moving average and then going lower. Because I truly anticipate that we are going to retest these lows again. Technical indicators for this market are looking fairly bullish at this point. MACD is about to cross the signal line uh, to the upside, indicating bullishness. The same goes for the casting, same goes for the CCI, and same is for the RSI. So expectation is that we rally further. Um, but the 200 moving average or the 50 moving average is probably as far as this market will go before it goes to the downside. So if you look at platinum, Platinum gave rallied again, tried to rally, but gave again most of the gains and found resistance at the 50 moving average. So I do favor the upside in Platinum. It is also a very difficult market to trade at this point because we have so much resistance underneath in this area here, not support underneath in this area here and this area here. And 
it looks like it's so difficult to um, to rally to the upside because there's so much resistance as well. So we're technically just stuck in this area here. And, um, and this is just not very interesting to trade. We're not going down. We're not going up. We're just sticking in the same area here uh, next to the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. And at this point, we'll probably break the 50 moving average. We can just see the CCI is just completely flat and it's about to turn around as it looked. The same goes for the RSI. So we'll just see more of the same, similar to what happened here. If we, if we uh, drop below the 50 moving average in, in, on my, when Monday session opens, then we're heading towards the 200 moving average and that will be significant support. Even though if that breaks, we have to get through this entire area here in order to get to these lows. So, yeah, this is um, for 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 those that want to trade within this range here. Then this probably is a perfect market. It's um, it's not my cup of tea. So, but a rally above this these highs will open the doors to uh, to two hundred no nine hundred and fifty three to 979 and then to 1000. So if you look at sugar, we can see that we rallied significantly on Friday session, but we did not break the previous highs. So whether or not we are going higher than this, it's uh, we'll see. Um, we are quite high on the, uh, the, the RSI, but we're not overbought. The technical indicators are turning around, especially the CCI. It's probably the best indicator that you can use in most of the, these commodities because it reacts much faster than uh, the other uh, oscillators. So, so this is this is my favorite indicator when it comes to to uh, to uh, to uh, technical analysis for 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 commodities because it just reacts so fast. Uh, so we are testing these highs. If this breaks, uh, then we are going to a 0 0.1518. Um, if we break below this, then we are going towards down to a 50 moving average. Um, I do expect this market to probably go sideways or go a little bit down towards the 50 moving average. We are fairly overextended, um, but yes, a break above this will open the door to these very highs. So just keep that in mind. This is a mark. We are in uptrend and pullbacks are basically buying opportunities. We just haven't had a very good buying opportunity here since basically down here and down here. And also, for, of course, down here. So this needs to go towards a 50 moving average in order to buy into this market. So look at wheat we can see that that uh, wheat uh, pulled back quite significantly on on no rallied quite significantly on a monday session then we rallied again and then we had a ma major pullback on friday session and at this moment we are probably going to test this 50 moving average and that is a good thing that is a, a area of interest because we are going to uh, run into this major support line and similar to natural gas similar to other uh, commodities are that are running into major resistance uh, major support this is a buying opportunity with a stop loss of course underneath um, technical indicators for this are fairly bearish at this point and that is a good thing because that means that we are going to go lower we'll probably go and test these um, lows here uh, so Entry point could be uh, 591 because those are these previous lows. And that means that we are going to trade. Uh, this is going to trend something similar to this down towards this trend line. So it'll probably take uh, one or two trading days, maybe three trading days before we can um, enter this market. But this is, of course, uh, a very interesting area to to, um, to be in, and if we go lower from here, I will definitely be a buyer in this market. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. 
hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. You're welcome to join us on Patreon. The link is below. Uh, you'll get access to our full technical analysis where you basically can enter for a trade, where you can put stop losses and all of those things uh, in order to help you minimize your risk and to maximize your profits. So uh, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.